Well, good evening, YouTube. Well, it's uh, it's come to pass, and what I mean is, uh, I'm sure you've all seen the debate, the Confederate flag. I don't think there's anyone who hasn't. That this past week, the the, uh, the battle flag is now no longer flying in South Carolina. And that is thanks to the efforts of the Republican governor, Nikki Haley, who spinelessly caved into political pressure. And I'm hoping that the next election teaches her a lesson and they vote her out along with every other legislator that decided that they were going to protect their job versus uh, their heritage and the heritage of quite a few people in that state. Now, my recommendation, and I even sent a, uh, an idea and a tweet to Governor Haley, why don't you put this on a referendum, on a ballot, and let the people of that state decide whether that flag is up or down? Nothing. Apparently, the, the, the idea of the people does not matter. Anyway, so that's down, and now they're targeting Mississippi. And they're going after the state of Mississippi because they actually have that flag. The Confederate flag is part of the state flag. And I'm sure we've all seen the, uh, the fact that this is now considered an item of hate. Did you ever think you would see in your lifetime that a car from a TV show, 30 plus years old, would be considered a, an item of hate? Did you ever think you would live to see that in this country? I know I certainly didn't, but there it is. Uh, Warner Brothers has severed ties, or well, they, they haven't severed ties, but they're no longer going to license the General Lee with the Confederate flag on the roof, then you might as well just stop it all together. And then on top of that, TV land in a spineless, gutless move, and they uh, they pulled all the reruns of the Dukes of Hazard. So now that I mean, and what they're doing is, is you can see they're scrubbing the Confederate flag from. They're trying to just wipe it out of American. I would have to say American culture. Um, these two models here, I got, I've had one for a while and I just picked the other one up and I may, I'm going to keep one no matter what. I'm definitely going to keep one because they do have the decals for the Confederate flag. But I got noticing something even a few years ago. These are not new. These are a couple years old. Look, look at the roof of the car. You can see it in the photo. They airbrushed it out. If you see, if you look at older boxes and I'll, I, I have a picture somewhere and I'll put it up with this video you will see the difference. You'll see that the flag here had been airbrushed out and the same thing on the car on the sides. And that was the same with the Auto Trader commercial that they did last year with uh, the Dukes of Hazard. with General Lee. They were very careful not to show the roof. And if you notice at the end when they drove away in the new Dodge Charger, or the new uh, Dodge uh, Viper, there was no Confederate flag on it. So they were very careful even then. You could, this, was, this has been building for a while, and it was just somebody waiting an opportunity. Um, that's like this shirt here. I airbrushed this. This, this is actually mine. I actually did this. I, I'm going to see how this reacts. Um, because I put it up on eBay right about the same time that eBay yanked everything. This shirt was up on eBay for a grand total of about four or five hours, and it already had bids on it. I mean, this shirt, I, it, was, it was at 50, this is just a white t-shirt. I put it up for like nine or ten bucks. It was up to 15 already, and it still had four some odd days to go. And I'll show you a, <laughs> eBay's reason for doing, for, for getting rid of the Confederate flag. And it's a symbol of contemporary hate and, uh, is basically how they posted it. And then, but in the rest of the uh, the rest of their little statement, but we respect the uh, the opinions of others. Really, you're not respecting my opinion. You're not respecting the opinion that of of mine to put something with a Confederate flag on it on eBay. I'm I'm not a racist. I'm I've done nothing wrong. 
the shirt has done nothing wrong. This flag has done nothing wrong. And now that they're work doing their utmost best to scrub the Confederate flag away from American culture, um, they're not done by a long shot. They tried to go after the American flag, and they got a lot of negative backlash. And I, I kind of suspected that because on July 4th and July 5th, they were burning the American flag in New York City. Which I know a lot of people were saying, well, it's New York City. Did you ever think in your lifetime on Independence Day you'd see people burning the American flag? Did you ever think you'd see that in this country? I mean, sure, they do it overseas all the time. I care what a bunch of, uh, bunch of Muslim countries, I don't care what they do. Other than the fact that, you know, I do like to make sure that the, um, they don't attack us here. But as far as burning a flag, go ahead. We, I don't care if you burn the flag over there because I expect you to. But did you ever think on Independence Day in the United States of America, you would see people burning the American flag and would be cheered on? Um, the latest symbol, believe it or not, is the floor delay. What's the floor delay? The floor, if you if you're not familiar with the term, it's it's a French symbol, and the the best place I can tell you to describe it is it's on the side of the helmets of the New England of the uh, New Orleans Saints. That is the floor delay. That is the next symbol that has come under fire, as being a racist symbol. You're kidding, right? You're, you're kidding me. So, what do we do? We're we going we're gonna to wipe that out now, too? What's next? And this is what I said earlier in a couple of earlier videos. Don't think they're done. They're not. There is more coming. There is more that's going to be offensive. Now, one of the biggest things, and I burns me big time with this recent shooting in Chattanooga and the media defending, defending this scumbag. I don't care what race he is. I don't care what my, I don't care what religion he is. He's a scumbag. He's a dirtbag. He's, he was absolute human filth to kill four Marines and a U.S. sailor because this sailor unfortunately passed away today that was wounded, wounded a cop and wounded another serviceman or servicewoman, I believe. And... You actually have media defending this guy while well, he was just like an every every other average American. He was, he was, sorry, he wasn't born here. He was born in another country. And this guy apparently traveled back and forth. His father was on a terror watch list. But it's just the defense of this guy. Remember with the Charleston shooting, within hours, they were running nonstop coverage. Of oh my God, this guy is wearing. Remember the remember the he, the apartheid jacket. Remember the Confederate flag. How long was it before they were going after that? It was it, it was hours, not even that. What are we hearing from the administration and from those on the left with us? Well, no, 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 don't don't jump to conclusions. We have to wait and see what the we ha we have to wait. We, no, no, we have to make sure we don't know what this is. You don't know what this is. This guy posted tweets and on his and on his blog that would be considered highly inflammatory statements anti-american isis posted a tweet 10 minutes before this got this the shooting started mentioning chattanooga by name we know what this is everybody who has half a brain knows what this is but no, there are some out there who are just not willing to say it because they don't want it they don't want to offend anybody well I, I i i take that back they don't want to offend a certain group but if you have one of these or if you're trying to even support the confederate flag well, you're a racist You're you're a bigot. You're 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 the lowest form of life. We just had a case here recently where a low, a business owner, private property, his own property, put up a Confederate flag on his own property. 
and some little peon reporter for some middle of nowhere's nothing newspaper wrote an article and the basis was, oh yes, it's, well it's his right to do it, but his neighbors should go to him and tell him, no, no, you shouldn't do that, you're offending people. That's George Orwell crap right there. If you read 1984, and I recommend everyone to read that book, that's a lot of what what you the this you hear the Orwellian society. Well, that's a lot of what that is, where you're shamed, your neighbors watch you, your neighbors see what you do, and your neighbors will tell on you if if you do the wrong things. To sit there and tell someone's neighbors. You should go to him and tell him what he's doing is wrong. You should go to him and say, this is offensive. Who are you to have anyone do that? This is this man's private property. This is this man's rights. It is his business. If he wants to fly the Confederate flag, so be it. I guarantee you, if that man was flying a rainbow flag, no one would say a word. Now, I'm not even going to get into that issue. That's not that, And that's not even the point. It's the fact that some symbols are offensive. Some opinions are wrong. doesn't matter if you have the right to have that or have that opinion. It's wrong. Oh, you can't do that. You, you're, this is, you, you need to be stopped. Your neighbors need to go to you and say, you can't do that. What kind of person are you? Welcome to the America we've created, folks. Welcome to the America that, by letting political correctness run this far, this is what we've created. This is what we have. And it's getting worse every day. So, with that, I want everyone to think about that. And before you jump on the bandwagon of, that symbol is offensive, that symbol is racist, remember, they're not finished when they point your symbol, when they go to you and say, well, what you have is offensive. What you have is wrong. Well, wait a second. I'm not, but remember, you didn't stand up for everyone else either. We need to stick together on this because this is just going to continue to get worse. So with that, sorry this one ran a little long, but there it is, folks. Have a good night, YouTube.